Hello and welcome to Binary News with myself and Marta, giving you your daily dose of focused gaming news today on the 12th of June. This time I'm giving a little bit of a roundup discussion with everything that's going been going on with Ubisoft and female characters, as there has been a little bit of a clusterfuck regarding both Assassin's Creed 4, um, 5 Unity rather, sorry, and Far Cry 4, as of course Ubisoft made some rather uh, dodgy comments, basically saying that... The reason there aren't playable female assassins in the co-op of Unity is basically due to it being, quote, double the work. Um, obviously, there was a bit of an uproar regarding this. It's pretty much been everywhere since this story broke, and Ubisoft have released an official statement to Kotaku saying, quote, we recognise the valid concern around diversity in video game narrative. Assassin's Creed is developed by a multicultural team of various faiths and beliefs. And we hope this attention to diversity is reflected in the settings of our games and our characters. Assassin's Creed Unity is focused on the story of the lead character, Arno. Whether playing by yourself or the co-op shared experiences, you, the gamer, will always be playing as Arno, complete with his broad range of gear and skill sets that will make you feel unique. With regard to diversity in our playable assassins, we featured Aveline, Connor, Adewale and Altair in Assassin's Creed games, and we continue to look at showcasing diverse characters. We look forward to, to introducing you to some of the strong female characters in Assassin's Creed Unity. So basically that wasn't really an answer at all, basically them saying, look guys, we're a diverse team, it's just too much work, and claiming that it would actually take double the time, obviously down to the animations that it would take. But then the lead Assassin's Creed animation director, Jonathan Cooper, said today on Twitter that adding female playable characters to the game would take the team two days tops, as of course it is currently in development at 10 Ubisoft studios. And he said, quote, In my edu educated opinion, I would estimate this to be a day or two's work. Not a replacement of 8,000 animations. Man, if I had a dollar for every time someone at Ubisoft tried to bullshit me on animation tech. Liberation's Aveline shares more of Connor Kenway's animation than Edward Kenway does. And he even stated on Twitter that in the last Assassin's Creed prototype he worked on, quote, entering your name as Alicia allowed you to play as a female character. Now, obviously, Assassin's Creed Unity is next gen, so you could easily argue that, well, you probably can't just use the old code for the old engine because, well, it's a new engine now, or at least an improved engine. But I don't know, it's really tough to say how plausible just using Aveline's code, or at least taking the core of it or whatever for the animations would actually work in Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm not a programmer, I'm not an animator, I just don't know. It seems like it's at least plausible, but given that Assassin's Creed Unity is so heavily changed for the next generation, it might not actually be possible. It does seem a bit suspect to me though, Ubisoft, who are a massive AAA million dollar company who have 10 studios working on this one game, couldn't set aside a little bit of time for female playable characters. Now let me just clarify before I continue. I do think that everyone is making a little bit too much of a deal out of this, to be honest. Does it really matter that you can't play as a female in co-op? Not really. It doesn't really affect the game for me. I don't really care about not being able to play as a female. I mean, what I really want is a main character, though, in Assassin's Creed. You know, the main protagonist that's a female. We've had men being the stars for the, every game apart from Liberation, which, of course, was a side game that eventually came out in HD form on the PC. So that's the only time we've ever seen a main female character, and it wasn't even a main console title. So I want to see... That's what I want to see. I don't, I'm not really bothered about co-op. But it would be nice to have the option, and it just seems a little bit paper thin and a little bit of a lackluster excuse from Ubisoft to say, hey, it's just too much work. But people do feel pretty strongly about this, as right now, 2,807 people have signed a petition to get female characters into Assassin's Creed Unity. Now, this um, particular petition was founded by UK resident Jessica Smith, and at the time, as I said, at this time, it has 2,807 names, and on the petition description, she has written, quote, This petition has been created to express the disappointment of Ubisoft fans and the lack of representation of people of colour and females in the four protagonist lineup in the upcoming Assassin's Creed Unity. We believe that the Assassin's Creed series, a franchise with infinite scope, does not reflect the needs of its demographic well enough. The lack of a female character has been referred to as unfortunate, but a reality of game development, and the possibility of an ethnic minority protagonist seems to have not been breached. Representation is important, and in, and in a game, 
which boasts 5,000 NPCs, this is not good enough. To be honest, I think a lot of this outrage is coming from Ubisoft's rather limp excuse. It doesn't really fly with most people when you think, hang on, it's too much work for you to add the animations for female character. I thought you had 10 studios working on this game. I thought you were a multi-million dollar AAA company. And that was my first thought. I mean, as I said, I'm not particularly bothered. I don't think it's going to take anything away from the game for me, but I can see why people have been riled up because there's a very, very paper thin excuse. And well, it's even bleeding over into Far Cry 4, as apparently Far Cry 4 nearly had playable female characters. And then again, Ubisoft wrote it off as a workload issue. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And apparently, Far Cry 4, the team that is working on it, is under too much pressure to find the time to put females in or playable females in the game. And the creative director, Alex Hutchinson, said the team did their best to make it happen. And he said to Polygon, quote, It's really depressing because we were inches away from having you be able to select a girl or a guy as your co-op buddy when you invite someone in. And it was purely a workload issue because we don't have a female reading for the character. We don't have all the information. Um animation sorry and it was weird it was a weird issue where you would have a female model that walked and talked and jumped like a dude and he does seem aware of how much of a mess this whole situation is and is looking forward to some better times as he said quote i can guarantee you that in the future moving forward this sort of stuff will go away as we get better technology and we plan for it in advance and we don't have a history on one rig and all this sort of stuff, we had very strong voices on the team pushing for that and I really wanted to do it. We just couldn't squeeze it in, in time. But on the other hand, we managed to get more of the other story characters to be women. We did our best. It's frustrating for us as it is for everybody else, so it's not a big switch that you can just pull and get it done. Oh dear oh me. This whole situation is just a bit of a mess. Now, to be honest, one of the main arguments against what Ubisoft is saying, other than the fact that they are a massive studio with millions of dollars at their disposal, is, well, adding female playable characters into a co-op game, like Assassin's Creed Unity, should have been part of development from day one. If they had planned it from day one, then there wouldn't be this last minute crunch. Oh my god, we've got to get the animations done. Like for Assassin's Creed 4, fair enough. You know, you need to have the animations right. Otherwise, it will look a bit weird. But for Far Cry 4, mm, I don't know. It's debatable, to be honest. I mean, would it be so bad to have a woman who walks in a slightly manly way? What is a manly way anyway? You know, it's just a bit strange, this whole situation, and a bit of a mess. Now... I do think everyone is making a bit too big of a deal out of this, but you can't let Ubisoft off the hook. They should have actually thought about this from day one. With well, a co-op game, you know, the first co-op game of Assassin's Creed franchise, I don't think it's unreasonable to say, hey, a lot of our fans are female, maybe not as many as our men, but, you know, a lot of our fans are female. What, what do you guys think about having a female model for the uh, co-op? Yeah, okay, cool. And then from day one, they would have worked to have that in the game rather than like, right, okay, can we fit it in at the last minute? No, okay, sorry guys, you're going to have to wait till next time. Same for Far Cry 4. Um, having a co-op partner that's female isn't as a big deal as being able to play as a female, if I'm completely honest, but it's not exactly unreasonable to want that as an option. And to be honest, I don't think people would have really minded so much... Um, excuse the dogs having a fit outside they've chosen a very odd time to start having a bit of a dog fight out there apologies for that guys a bit of a, a badly timed dog fight outside but still i do think everyone's making a little bit too much of a big deal but it is partly found by ubisoft's weak excuse to be honest i don't think this reasoning is good enough and if i'm completely honest with you and obviously a lot of people feel the same way Anyway guys, this is a bit of a bit of a longer video and a bit of a ranty one as well, but do let me know your thoughts in the description below this video and I'll see you next time.